Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel Julia McNeil Craft. So today is um, National Photograph Day and to celebrate the lovely Natalie has organised a collaboration. So I am going to do something with this photograph here. This is a really re recent photograph of our holiday. Um, my daughter who is seven decided to run into the sea fully clothed, Nikes on and everything. Um, <laughs> and that's a picture of her there and I love it because it's like it's in the moment because the water spray is all over her I'm not a big scrapper so what I have done is I've pulled out this thing from my Carpe Diem planner not that I've used my planner much either but um, I should and I just thought I'd sort of make a little bit of a dashboard for it I've also pulled out some embellishments from this luxury paper stack here available from the works and then I have pulled out this sentiment here from this one that is from the range so I am just going to chop this bit of paper down here so it fits on there and I will be back to put all of this together okay so I have just chopped that down I think to add a bit of interest I am just going to tear along the top corner pieces there and have that as a mat and I'm just going to edge the corners as well because you know I can't do anything without <laughs> creating a black edge now I've not checked my glue before I started which is probably a really bad idea let's hope it works oh excellent I'm filming when I feel absolutely rotten I'm dozed up on <laughs> lem sips and the minute it's too early in the day to have a hot toddy, so <laughs> I apologise for my voice. Right, I'm going to also edge um, the photograph. So yeah, I'm I'm needing to get more organised. Obviously, my crafting has now become my work, um, and I am needing to learn deadlines and times and lots of hidden jobs that need done so I do need to get more organised so I was thinking if I have a little planner page with my daughter on it then that will that will maybe help <laughs> being inspired by my beautiful little girl it's the last day of the school holidays today it's so sad <laughs> I'm going to miss her so much and I feel awful because I feel absolutely rotten, so I can't do much with it. My husband's taking the day off work to be with her, which is really nice. I think they're going to go swimming. But yeah, so it's like, oh, I can't believe it's gone so quickly. Okay, so this is going to be quick and simple. Now, the people on the collab are scrappers. They are so good. Um, I feel very honoured to be... <laughs> part of it because it's not my normal genre although I have a thing if you've watched my channel for a while that I don't think you should pigeonhole yourself into one sort of craft if you craft it means you can do junk journals you can do scrapbooking you can do card making you can do mixed media you can do art journals all the skills you have will cross over now because it's national photograph day I'm going to pop this little camera on do I want it with them um, a bit of 3d foam so that's why I quite like to do things like this because okay it's maybe not my first choice of craft, but you know, it's nice. We all have photographs, we all have precious memories. This was, um, as I said, our recent holiday. Um, and we just spent two days in Brotty Ferry before we went to my in-laws house. And we'd, I'd looked up all this stuff to do, um, and we didn't do any of it because it was, <laughs> it was lovely weather. And she was just quite happy sitting, playing at the beach every day. So that's what we did. Um, I don't know whether I want to kind of I kind of want that one because she is beautiful. I'm a beautiful little girl. Actually, her name means beautiful. I didn't know that when I named her. I just like the name Kezia. <laughs> and um, one of our friends, when she was born, um, really kindly actually did a load of research on her name and put it in a card and um, it comes from the Hebrew word cassia which was um, a plant I believe, a perfumed plant that um, was beautiful, yeah, so apparently her name means beautiful so I didn't know that when I uh, named her but I'm very happy with that because <laughs> she is my beautiful girl 
Okay, so um, I think this is the nice thing about scrapbooking or um, doing stuff with your photos as it does. It brings it brings you back to that moment. I mean, at the time I could have killed her running right into the sea with her Nikes on. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. <laughs> but I have to say, the hotel that we stayed at, which was just a Premier Inn, cheap and cheerful Premier Inn, but they were so good. They found out that she'd ran into the sea and they were like, oh, just bring our trainers here. Um, We'll sort them for you. And they did. They kind of, um, they um, took them and washed them and dried them for us, which was so kind. Um, right, I'm wanting to cluster some some stuff. Yeah, um, and it was really good. They were absolutely lovely, but it was quite funny because the next day, like, obviously she'd run into the sea and I tried with her shoes dangling out the window all night and they hadn't tried. <laughs> And so I sent my husband down to get some shoes for her and um, told her the size and he came back with these crocs that were absolutely massive. There was no way they were going to stay on her. And uh, so I was like, right, well, we really need breakfast by now because she also has a tendency to suffer quite severely from hangry. So it was kind of getting to the stage of, right, right, well, we need to go and get breakfast. So uh, <laughs> we took her to Dobie's. And my husband like carried her in from the car park into Dobies and then she ran around Dobies with like no shoes on. And <laughs> then we had to go to Sainsbury's. <laughs> we did the exact same thing. <laughs> carried her in and she ran around with no shoes on. There we got her some spare shoes. And then actually we were going around the charity shops a bit later and found another pair of trainers um, for £1.50 that were lovely. <laughs> so yeah, she ruined her Nikes but she came home with about three pairs of shoes. So uh, you can't stop kids being kids, can you? <laughs> okay, so I'm just leading up bits of um, infeminate and stuff. Let me see what I've got. I kind of feel this corner's needing a bit of something. Right. Take the pips off. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pleasant thing to do, doing something with your photographs, even if you aren't... Um, you know, scrapbooking isn't your thing. You can still find stuff to do with it. Right, so I'm going to edge that as well. Because <clears throat> I just find, especially when you're putting pattern on pattern and doing different things like that, it's, um, your eye sees it better if there's the, the barrier breaking it. It doesn't have to be black, of course. Sometimes you can just edge it with a coordinate colour, but I've got the black in the background there anyway, so that works quite well. I'm loving these little kits from the works and stuff that in the range. They're like so coordinated. They've got all these little bits and pieces together, which is just great. Bit of dodgy black work there, so we'll cover that with the heart. Let me see. I have filled up a, like a few little bits. Do I want? Do we want more buttons? Yeah, I'll put the button up there. I think I'm almost done. I've got these stickers as well, um, which I picked up in Hobbycraft, and they're sea themed ones. Um, so I was thinking that some of these might be quite. Oh, they're nice and transparent as well. Let me see what have I got. up there and maybe we can have one down here just to Do you want another dolphin or should we go for something oh that one's pretty another dolphin there Oops. I like those I find those in Hobbycraft in um, Dundee I'm hoping the ones in Inverness have them because I might have to go and get more of those <laughs> like, oh, they're pretty. I like the fact that they're kind of transparent. Do you want some more? Oh yeah, look, I could have a little starfish there, look. I wonder if I could get the seahorse in or whether that's just a bit, a bit much. Yeah, 
I'm going to stick with the little dolphins. Okay, I think that might be me. So I'll just clear my desk. This is me for um, National Photograph Day. I've just made this little pocket thing for my Carpe Diem planner. And it's featuring this photograph that my husband took of my daughter. And I really like it because you've got the movement of the, the water splashing um, over it. So, um, please do check out what all the other girls have done. As I said, they are all incredibly talented scrappers. So you will learn far more from them <laughs> rather than watching me muddle along. So please do go and check out what they have done. If you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.